Very good morning everyone, Anictown TV, we're at St James Park on a Tuesday morning where we're all very proud of ourselves, we're sitting in our new stand, it's been a lot of hard work and if I can just have a quick word with our chairman, a very happy Tommy Mackay, Tommy it's been a lot of effort, all worth it now. It has been, yes, it has been uh, more or less uh, ongoing since uh, Storm Arwen last November and um, it's I'd like to thank the, uh, the Football Foundation for uh, giving me the funds to, uh, to bring this into, into the club. Uh, Ian Hogg worked really hard, um, jumping through the hoops, but I must say um, it's, it's a good day just to get the stadium here. It's all going to be, plus there was a rush to get it ready for the, the ladies team who are playing in the FA Cup on, sun, on Sunday. Which I'll, Alan's going to uh, uh, elaborate about that. Aye, uh, but tell me, you know, if you think back a year ago, if you think what this ground looked like, you know, I think we can give us all of us a pat on the back oh, for yeah. everything that's been done because this yeah. place was virtually wrecked overnight. Yes, it was. Our fencing was down. Everything you see here on this side was in the rugby club car park, and. Um, it took me like a year to get it up to this stage, which uh, it couldn't have been done without the volunteers that we've got, like CSL, and the groundsman Ian Hogg. He works here seven days a week. And um, of course, we had the other parts of the ground uh, regarding the outside of the pitch. But it's been a massive effort by everybody. I mean, we were up through the summer for two or three months, and um, I couldn't be happier actually. Just we need to start winning a few games again. <laughs> on a three match run, I may add. So uh, we've got all our injuries back. So Just while we've got you here, Tommy, and out today we're, we're talking the ground, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm chuffed to bits with everything that's been done. We're now up to 101 seats at Anecdote. 101 seats, yeah, which is just enough to get me into the Northern League Division 1. Are you watching Richie Latimer? Yes, Richie, Lat <laughs> Richie Latimer, our Anecdown uh, manager. I'm sure he'll be cringing. But never mind. Uh, let's, it's, let's, just, let's, just go, let's just go back to last Friday night. Like I say, we're all talking the ground, but let's go back to Friday night. A brilliant occasion at Blue Star. Over 1,300 people there. Um, a record crowd for Blue Star. And uh, I know they only came to watch Anik. It had nothing to do with the fireworks and the football. No. But, uh, <laughs> True. But, but what about what, what about that for an occasion? And uh, I thought the team did brilliantly and were very unlucky to go out of the benevolent pool. Yeah, well, it's uh, we, we all know what it's uh, what we think of penalties sort in the game. But at the end of the day, it's the fairest way. At the end of the day, um, anybody could uh, anybody could win or lose it, and we just lost four three on penalties. I uh, no extra time, it went straight to penalties. No time, yeah. I'd like to say a big thank you to the 472 who were in great voice yeah. on that night, uh, oh. giving the lads brilliant support. Yeah. And uh, Anik are away on Saturday, I think, is it Newcastle Independent? Newcastle Independent, yes, it's a rearranged fixture because of the ladies playing here on Sunday. But, uh, yeah. So we'll go in, quickly go to the ladies on Sunday. Already a great achievement by Anik Town ladies, making it to the first round proper of the FA Cup, where we look forward to welcoming AFC Fylde ladies. Um, they're two leagues above Anik, but uh, I've been speaking to people from within the Anik ladies and uh, they're quite rightly feeling confident about the occasion. And uh, hopefully we'll get a nice big crowd here. Uh, it's a one o'clock kickoff. I think it's a strange time. Yeah. We weren't expecting that. One o'clock, yeah. One o'clock. So get yourself up. Don't remember. Uh, don't forget, everyone. It's Remembrance Sunday, so we will be doing the two-minute silence here before kickoff. So please remember to bring your poppies with you, and it's going to be a great occasion for our town ladies. And you can all come along and see our new stand. So in the meantime, we will be back with you very soon. But uh, Tommy Mackay, Anik Town Chairman, thank you very much for the interview this morning. You're welcome. Thank you very much for all the effort. We've got a stand. Got a stand, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Anik Town TV, don't forget YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And comment every little bit helps for us. So thank you very much, everyone. Anik Town TV, back with you soon. Just Tommy. Yeah, thank Cheers, you very Johnny. much. Yeah.